Hi, it's me. I'm back with more Carl Flesch and funny quotes. And I'm actually going to show you the exercise this time. I gotta start with this funny quote by Carl Flesch. It's actually about this book, Basic Studies. He's explaining how, you know, in the violin literature, there are tons of studies like this. And most violinists hope for just that one that they can do in, you know, five minutes. And their technique is amazing. It doesn't really exist. So he says, it is then that these troubled souls, like me and other violinists, are seized with the wildest ideas. They dream of a single study, short yet good, which will unite all the virtues. Is there anything sadder than this spectacle of young hopes and juvenile enthusiasm falling into a state of hopeless resignation, helpless to struggle against the final collapse, when all that the artist has acquired by his talent and work then must be irretrievably lost? Tragic indeed. And then he tells lots of other funny things about how his book is amazing. He's very loquacious with his language and I enjoy reading it. Uh, so the exercise I was talking about the other day, the stretchy exercise, uh, this one you really have to be careful with when you start because uh, it does some things that your hand might not be used to. And even Carl Flesch says, you know, any kind of gymnastic exercising like this can be dangerous. Uh, one quote, one cannot repeat too often how extremely dangerous it is not to heed nature's warning in continuing to practice without resting. And he says that it's best to relax the arm and let circulation flow back to it. Who knew? I am learning a lot about circulation this year with all the uh, chronic illness stuff. So let's talk about the exercise. We're picking the A string and the frame of the hand is always set outside of an octave. So in this case, he has you set three of your whole note fingers down, ones you are not to lift off, uh, in kind of a second position, which would mean the thumb is farther forward and then it, you know, you know it allows for the one to reach back. I actually prefer to set my thumb a little closer to first position so I can work on the stretches forward. The leaning back for me is really easy and I can lean so far back that I might dislocate my joint, so I try not to do that. Okay. So first we start with the first finger and we're outside of that octave by a whole step and you then slide it back and forth, keeping the other fingers on the string. You slide it back and forth at a step and a half. Not so bad, right? Yeah. Then we get to the second finger, which you've lifted off. You have to put the second finger where your first finger normally goes and then slide it a step and a half, which I think this one probably would feel the most uncomfortable. You have to start it really slow. You want to make sure like your hand is gripping. You don't want the iron grip of death. So just be careful with that. And then we do the third finger, which is not so bad. Although getting that third finger to your uh, second finger position might be tricky. Do, 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 do. Pro tip, make sounds. And lastly, but not least, the fourth finger. This one's my favorite you have to actually stretch an octave uh, outside of the octave by a whole step and a half, which is kind of fun. So you go uh, 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 all the way. I think it's delightful. So that's the exercise, just a little peek into it. I hope you enjoyed the little explanation. I'm sure it was riveting and I'll see you next time. Bye.